Hello, I'm Glenn. And I'm Brett. And we are the Penumbra Brothers. We focus, focus on you. Hello, everybody. This is Brent again, and we're going to talk about knees. A lot of things to discuss about knees. Before we get going, I have an important question, technical question to ask Nikki. So, Nikki, what is the difference between an oral thermometer and a rectal thermometer? I forgot. The taste, of course. <laughs> okay, let's talk about knees. So, the knee, I'm going to have Nikki uh, lay back on your back. Uh, so, knees generally from an AP knee. Once you get to a knee, the knee is large enough that we want to start using a buck heap. Now, when you're going down tip fib, ankle, toes, feet, you're not going to get enough bang for the buck to, uh, to use a grid. Once we get up to the knee, plus or minus 10, 10 centimeters, we're going to get enough value to the grid to justify the distance and the extra exposure. So, uh, angling on AP knee uh, is dependent on body habitus. Uh, Nikki is pretty straight from her hip down to her, her ankle there. Not a, lot of, not a lot of difference, so I'm going to use a straight angle. Uh, if somebody, I was actually and somebody had a very large buttocks, I might use an angle towards the head. A very small buttocks, big calf, I might angle a little bit towards the, the feet. But Nikki's pretty even. I'm guessing that joint space is pretty much vertical. So I'm going to center. Bucky train centered. Nikki in the field. Again, I'm going to use the apex or the lower pole of the patella is my, my joint space centering. Her joint space ought to be right under that uh, bottom part of the patella. And there's our AB. For lateral, I'm going to have Nikki towards me, roll towards me. I'm going to have her bring her upper leg over the top in front of her lower leg. If you have really large patients, if you roll that big leg, if they're large over the front, sometimes they'll over roll. They'll roll you know, past lateral. Um, if I have Nikki roll her knee or bend her knee at about 40, 45 degrees, that's going to kind of force the knee in almost a, a lateral alignment uh, pretty well. I'm going to look at her patella. You can't always trust the patella. A lot of times the patella is a little bit misaligned laterally. In her case, it looks like the patella is pretty much straight on it. I'm going to get an angle straight on Nikki. Again, if somebody had a real large hip, I might angle up. Real small hip, I might angle down. Looks like she's pretty, pretty even. Again, I'm going to enter just below the patella as far as joint space. Be aware too if you have a really large leg. Let's say she was she was obese and had a very large leg. All the bony anatomy is anterior. So if you center this in the center of that leg, that knee, you're going to miss that knee, the patella knee, and maybe part of the, the femoral condyle. So uh, uh, you know, Nikki's pretty easy. You can see where that bony anatomy is really well. Just be aware if you have a really large leg, do not center in the middle of the leg, center anteriorly. That's where the bony structure is going to be. Thanks. Be safe out there. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe and the notification button. See you soon.